All right, so I'm going to be going over the best paid VPN to use on the iPhone 13. Now, VPNs are good for three main reasons. They give you more privacy and security, allow you to access websites and apps not available in your country, and just the overall option to be anonymous. Now, for me personally, in today's world, I just feel safer having one turned on whenever I'm doing certain things on my iPhone. Now, the VPN I'm going to be showing you, I've been using for the last three years, which is pretty crazy, and it's going to be NordVPN. Now, the reason I like Nord is because it's extremely easy to use on iOS, and I'd also argue it's one of the best-looking VPN apps in the App Store. Now, before I log into my account, I just wanted to pull up their website to go over some of the features, but they've got military-grade encryption, over 5,000 servers worldwide. Yes, that is a ton of locations. And the other thing you have to understand about using a paid VPN over a free one is that it's more reliable, meaning it's not going to disconnect randomly on you or an ad's not going to pop up if you're trying to use a free one. Now, currently, the price of Nord is $11.99 a month, but it's really worth it. And if you guys do want to check it out, I'll have a link in both the description and comments. Okay, now we've got the app loaded up here and honestly it's amazing it's got this world map feature on it where you can just choose locations by tapping on them and then they've got a quick connect option as well or you can just scroll alphabetically and look for different locations anywhere in the world now when you connect on here it's extremely fast it's also going to flash green at the top and that's going to let you know how long you've been connected. Now, you just saw me close it out because I wanted to show you when you close out Nord, it stays connected. And that's one of the biggest benefits to using a paid VPN. Now, I'm going to try to get another location on here. We're going to go for like Canada. I want to show you different examples here. It looks like Vancouver. All right. And those connection times, I mean, that was like less than three seconds. That's how fast this is. It's pretty nuts. All right, we're going to do another one here. Then I'm actually going to load up a game, um, a multiplayer game, just to show you, like, the speeds for gaming. So I'm going to load up COD Mobile and kind of, like, just let it run for about a minute. If you have any questions about VPNs or using Nord specifically, you could also message me below in the comments. I'll get back to you. But, yeah, I've been using Nord for, like, three years. That's nuts. I should probably switch to the yearly plan, but I've just had it on the monthly for so long that... I almost look at it like a Netflix subscription payment. That's kind of how I've just been, you know, doing it. All right, so you can see this game loaded up very quick. We're connected in Los Angeles right now, and we are not located in Los Angeles. Okay, so let's just check out these connection speeds. All right, guys, super smooth. All right, yeah, I'm just going to close the game out. Okay, so bottom line, just to recap here, guys. You know, using a VPN, a lot of benefits to it. Like I said in the beginning, you just get more privacy and security. You can access those websites and apps not available in your country. And just the overall option to be anonymous. And I actually wanted to do one more location. Um, and yeah, look at all these locations worldwide on here, guys. It's so many locations. Let me go back up to the top. I think we're going to do Australia. I'm going to do a quick connect to Australia. All right, boom. There we go, guys. How awesome is that? Okay, thanks for watching this. Uh, if you didn't tap the like button, if you could do that now, I'd appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.